Welcome to our YouTube channel where we delve into the world of self-improvement and personal development. Today, we're excited to bring you a comprehensive summary of the book Decisive by Chip Heath. In this book, authors Chip Heath and Dan Heath explore the concept of decision-making and provide valuable insights on how to make better choices in both personal and professional settings. Let's dive into the key takeaways from Decisive that can help you become a more effective decision-maker. So, let's dive into the summary of this incredible book. But before we dive into the content, I kindly request a moment of your time to appreciate this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. The central thesis of Decisive revolves around the idea that we often fall victim to common decision-making pitfalls that can lead to poor choices. To combat this, the authors introduce a framework known as the RAP model, which stands for Widen Your Options, Reality Test Your Assumptions, Attain Distance Before Deciding, and Prepare to Be Wrong. Let's break down each component of the RAP model. Firstly, a Widen Your Options E emphasizes the importance of considering a broad range of alternatives before making a decision. By expanding your choices, you can increase the likelihood of finding a more creative and effective solution. Next, Reality Test Your Assumptions O encourages individuals to challenge their existing beliefs and seek out new information to better understand the situation. By questioning your assumptions, you can avoid confirmation bias and make more informed decisions. The third element of the RAP model is the attain distance before deciding, which highlights the value of taking a step back from the decision-making process to gain clarity and perspective. By creating emotional distance, you can make more rational choices that align with your long-term goals. The authors offer four steps to decision-making that emphasize gathering diverse opinions, considering alternate options, and testing assumptions to reach more informed conclusions. Brothers Dan Heath, senior fellow at Duke University, supporting social entrepreneurs, and Chip Heath, professor in the Graduate School of Business at Stanford University, are the authors of international bestsellers Switch and Made to Stick. The book identifies the main issues that typically stand in the way of decision-making, a narrow view on our problems, short-term emotions, and overconfidence when it comes to predicting the future. It gives knowledgeable insight into how our decisions are formed and how to avoid making bad ones. Decisive is a thought-provoking book that dives deep into the art of making better decisions in life and work. Here's why this book is worth reading. Packed with practical strategies, it equips readers with the tools to overcome cognitive biases and make more informed choices. Backed by extensive research and real-life examples, the book provides valuable insights into the decision-making process, making it both informative and relatable. The author's engaging storytelling keeps readers captivated, ensuring that even complex concepts are presented in an accessible and engaging manner. Decisive gives you a scientific, four-step approach to making better decisions in your life and career, based on an extensive study of the available literature and research on the topic. I really like the books by the Heath brothers. They're well-researched, fun to read and always come packed with not just one, but a multitude of great insights. After Made to Stick in 2007 and Switch in 2010, Decisive is their most recent book, published in 2013, and it's about making better decisions. They've created a four-step process called RAP, which you can run through each time you have to make a big, important decision to make choices easier. Its four elements are Widen your options Reality test your assumptions Attain distance before deciding. Prepare to be wrong. Let's look at the first three in more detail, because these are the steps that coincide with what I believe to be the most important lessons from this book. Never decide in binary mode. Always think of other options. Don't commit to just one plan. Set up experiments and see which decisions work. Switch to the perspective of a friend or future you to be more objective about choices. Are you decisively indecisive? Let's change that. Lesson 1. Decisions aren't binary. Always think in opportunity costs. How many times has this happened to you in school? On Wednesday, someone starts talking about a party on Friday and by Thursday, everyone's invited, including you. Now you have to decide what to do. Interestingly, how we decide something like this often ends with us trying to answer some variant of this question, should I go to Jake's party or not? The problem with making decisions like this is that it's a binary approach. You only consider two options, yes and no. To get the full picture though, you'd have to also consider opportunity costs. There are actually a lot more options, most of which start with no, but 
For example, if you didn't go to Jake's party, you'd have the option to just call it an early night and go to bed, of course. But you could also invite a friend over and watch a movie, go ice skating, to a club, throw your own party, or get dinner with your family. It's not so much about going or not going, it's about what else you could do in that time. With money it's the same thing. You can buy a $700 stereo or a $1,000 one. The question is what you'd do with the remaining $300 if you chose the cheaper version. Would you save it? Invest it? Book a flight? Buy 50 records? Even just being aware of the option of doing something else with your time and money helps a lot in seeing the full picture of available choices. For example, when people were given the choice between buying a $14.99 video or not in a study, without any hints 25% didn't buy. But as soon as the no option was labeled a keep the $14.99 for other purchases, decline rates shot up to 45%, just because people were suddenly aware they could do other things with their money. Lesson 2, don't make plans. Run experiments and see what sticks. In case of Jake's party this won't work, but in quite a lot of instances, you don't even have to decide right away. You can just set up various trials and see which decision works out best. If you think you want to be a writer, you don't have to quit your job right away. You can just start writing a blog, for example, and see if you like it. The Heath brothers call this testing on a small scale uching, and it really makes you a lot more comfortable when making big shifts. Internships, for example, serve this very purpose. Find a way to dip your toe into the water first, then decide. Lesson 3. Change your perspective to friend or future to be more objective. The third step of the rap model is getting some distance. Why does that matter? Well, your emotions tend to hijack a lot of your decisions, based on what you think is most important right now. However, what you feel matters most today isn't necessarily always what 10 years from now you needs or even 10 minutes, 10 days or 10 months from now you. That's why it helps to put some emotional distance between you and the decision before making a choice. For example, sticking with the number 10, try the 10 slash 10 slash 10 perspective. How would you feel about your decision 10 minutes, 10 months and 10 years from now? Another cool trick is to take on the perspective of a friend giving advice. Imagine your best friend came to you and explained the exact dilemma you face, asking you what you should do. What would you tell them to do? We often give much more objective advice to our friends because we're not bugged down by the short-term emotions they struggle with in the moment. Do the same for yourself and future you will be a lot happier. As I said in the intro, there's not much to complain about with these guys writing. It's rock solid. Decisive comes highly recommended and definitely one of the better how to make better decisions books out there. Those are the individuals who truly deserve to immerse themselves in this extraordinary book. Anyone interested in the process of decision making. Anyone that has to make reliable decisions every day. Anyone who is repeatedly revisiting past decisions. The 16-year-old who can't decide whether to go to the party on Friday or not. The 34-year-old shoe store clerk who'd love to be a writer but doesn't want to give up her job to pursue her dream full-time and anyone who thinks they give good advice to their friends. The concept of the idea, prepare to be wrong, emphasizes the importance of embracing uncertainty and being open to adjusting your decision based on new information or feedback. By acknowledging the possibility of error, you can adapt to changing circumstances and pivot when necessary. In addition to the RAP model, Decisive G also introduces other practical strategies for improving decision-making, such as conducting a pre modem analysis, seeking advice from a diverse group of perspectives, and using a if for villains a framework to identify and overcome common decision-making biases. By incorporating these tools and insights into your decision-making process, you can enhance your ability to make sound choices that lead to positive outcomes in both your personal and professional life. As you embark on your journey to become a more decisive decision-maker, remember that practice makes perfect. The concepts outlined in Decisive by Chip Heath serve as a roadmap for navigating the complex landscape of choices that we face every day. By integrating the RAP model and other decision-making strategies into your daily routine, you can empower yourself to make thoughtful and strategic decisions that align with your values and goals. Whether you're contemplating a major career move, deciding on a new project to pursue, or simply trying to enhance your everyday choices, the principles outlined in Decisive can provide you with the tools and insights needed to make informed and impactful decisions. Here are some valuable insights extracted from this captivating book. I believe you will find them highly beneficial. Feel encouraged to explore its wisdom further and let it spark new perspectives and ideas on your journey. 
1. What isn't it for me? Making decisions is hard, let's learn how to do it right. Making decisions is part of everything we do, and the better our choices, the better our lives, whether deciding between cappuccino or latte macchiato, or between two potential romantic partners. Indecisive, brothers Chip and Dan Heath explain how in many situations our decision-making isn't ideal, we think too narrowly, we're biased by previous choices, personal values and short-term emotions, and we're overconfident about our decisions. The book also illustrates how making poor decisions or not making decisions at all can have dramatic effects, as can be seen in the example of Kodak, the once leading manufacturer of photographic film. Kodak was aware that digital photography would likely usurp analog photography as early as 1981. However, they remained indecisive about taking action. Eventually, by 2002, once sales of digital cameras surpassed those of analog ones, Kodak had been left behind. The book answers the questions. What alternative choices do I have and how can I find them? How can I avoid making a decision simply based on what I like? How can I stop my temporary emotions from standing in the way of a wise decision? How can I be ready for the good and bad results stemming from my choices? 2. When you get stuck making a decision, don't artificially limit your choices. We often think of our decisions as involving a choice between two options. Indeed, we get stuck much of the time trying to settle on whether or not to do a particular thing. But by thinking about decisions as a simple, binary choice, we usually fail to consider other alternatives. When you find yourself getting stuck like this, consider the whole array of alternative options available to you. 3. When problem-solving, don't pursue just one idea, multi-track many options to find the best solution. We often try to solve a problem by implementing the one option that seems best to us. However, trying out just a couple more can yield much better results. This is multi-tracking or actively trying out several options simultaneously, and it can improve the decision-making process dramatically. 4. Look at the solution someone else has found for the same problem. Sometimes it feels like we're the first to face a particular problem. The fact is, however, that what you see as your problem may have already been solved by someone else. You just don't notice it because their problem is slightly different. 5. To shake off any bias in your decisions, play devil's advocate and try and build a case against your decision. It seems logical that, when making decisions, we choose those options that we like the most. Unfortunately, however, these aren't always the best decisions. But though our preferences might bias our decision-making process, there are actually a couple of ways to shake off the influence that our likes and dislikes have on us. 6. Think about how your situation looks from the outside. Although we often believe our situation is unique, it benefits us to look at how others in a similar situation have fared. We're usually more alike than we tend to believe. You can do this by finding out how a situation like yours usually unfolds. Consider Jack, for example, a brilliant Thai cook who is considering starting a restaurant. He's found what he sees as the perfect location on 4th Street, with huge foot traffic and other Thai restaurants close by. This is his inside view. 7. Rather than make a plan, run a small experiment to see if your idea works. In many situations it's wise to dip your toe in the water, rather than dive in headfirst. This process of testing ideas on a small scale is called uching. Deciding upon something based on our belief that it will or won't work is a bad strategy compared to trying it on a smaller scale. 8. To get some perspective on your decision, shift your focus to the future. Many of our choices are hijacked by what we believe is important in the moment that we're faced with them. However, since these are often bad in the long run, here are some techniques for encouraging our brains to consider long-term consequences. The first is to find emotional distance by imagining the outcomes from a future perspective. 9. When your decisions are based on conflicting values, identify your core priorities. Sometimes our decisions aren't distracted by short-term emotions, but by an unclear order of priorities in our lives. For instance, even after your initial excitement over a job offer has vanished, you may find yourself stuck in the decision of whether to take it or to stay at your old firm. The solution here is to find your core priorities. Ask yourself, which long-term emotional values, goals or aspirations are most important to me? 10. To prepare for the consequences of your decisions, think of the future as a range rather than a point. Often we imagine one possible consequence of our actions and base our decisions on that one specific idea of how the future will unfold, even though we have no way of actually predicting the future. 
To counter this foolish tendency, you should, firstly, consider both the worst and best possible outcomes, as this will allow you to estimate where you are at a given point and react when reality moves closer to the worst outcome. To do this, you can use perspective hindsight, the notion that we can cognitively evaluate facts better than possibilities, to your advantage. Ask yourself, it is one year from now and we've failed. Why, rather than a what could happen that would lead to failure? 11. Set a tripwire to shift from autopilot to manual control and enforce a decision. When we do a certain thing every day we often don't notice the gradual changes that, over time, can amount to a drastic situation. Hence, we need a figurative tripwire, a, a signal that makes us aware of our behavior and, if necessary, prompts us to correct it. One way to do that is to establish clear signals to interrupt any autopilot behavior. So, seize the opportunity to implement these strategies into your decision-making process and watch as you transform into a more confident and effective decision-maker. Here is an insightful quote from the author of the book, offering a captivating glimpse into the profound wisdom and thought-provoking insights that permeate the pages of this masterpiece. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of your decisions. Chip Heath You can find the link to acquire a copy of this incredible book in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, if you found this book summary helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and insightful content. And share this uplifting summary with someone who may benefit from hearing them. Leave a comment down below if you've read this book or have any other recommendations for us. Remember, every choice you make has the power to shape your future. Take charge of your decisions, embrace the uncertainties, and step into a more decisive version of yourself. Thank you for joining us as we explored the key concepts of Decisive by Chip Heath. If you're looking to refine your decision-making skills and become a more effective leader, be sure to check out this insightful book. Remember, the power to make better decisions is within your grasp. Stay tuned for more book summaries and self-improvement tips on our channel. Until next time, keep learning and growing. Goodbye.